Hello, what's up everyone? Today I am starting a new series called Flutter Widgets where every day for next 60 days I will cover different types of packages widgets available to create some awesome functionalities and apps in Flutter. So let's jump right on it. We all have used apps like Instagram, Facebook, etc. where we can post a picture or change our profile picture, right? But in order to do that, we need to have that functionality in our apps. In order to do that in Flutter, today we'll look into a package called Image Picker, which lets us select a photo from gallery or use a camera to click one. Let's start with our implementation part now. So here I have a demo default app that Flutter gives me. Okay, so before we jump right into the coding part, we need to install the dependencies. Um, I'll make it a little zoom. So for dependency, I'll be using, making use of the package image picker and the version that I'm using is this because I found it to be the stable one. Now, after this, we need to do few more things in order to implement our functionality. So because we are gonna in, uh, consider camera and even we are gonna touch gallery, we would need to give some permissions to our app, right? Because generally when first time when you open any app and when you try to select anything from a gallery, it gives you a bunch of options saying, do you want to allow it or not, right? So for all those kind of permissions, you would need to add some configuration as well. So right here I have iOS, um, simulator so for that let me go to my image picker flutter okay so here you can see for ios it tells me that you need to go to this file info.plist file and then you need to give like ns photo library usage description and also for the camera usage description because we will be using both of these we don't need microphone as of now so we can uh, avoid that. So let me go to iOS runner info list. Now here is the bunch of uh, permissions that already exist. Now I need to add, let me go ahead and add after this. So our key would be, let me fetch it from there. Okay, uh, key would be this slash key and then string would be um, i can say photo library access warning so this string will come up when i think we don't have the permission set um, so similarly i would do that for camera usage and let me copy paste this line. I hope you guys are able to see. Let me zoom in. Camera library access warning. Okay, so once this is done, I think I would restart my app again. Sorry for that. So let me restart my app again. Cool. So I guess that part is done. So info list part is done. Uh, pub sec part is done. Let me cross check again. Yeah, camera and photo library is there. Pub sec get dependencies. Yes, do get dependencies. So it will, it will add, install dependencies. Now in the meantime, we are gonna remove everything that's there in this default app. I'm just gonna create two basic buttons and in one of the buttons would be about gallery another button would be about camera and when you click on the gallery one it will open up a widget showing all the pictures that you have in your phone and then you can select one and we are going to display that here similarly for the camera we'll be doing that okay um, let it run Okay, the build is done. Let it start the app. Okay, everything works fine. So now let me go ahead and remove all of these because we don't need any of these things. 
right now let me create override widget bell bell context context then uh, scaffold Material. So I am gonna have two buttons here. Oops, yeah, button pressed. Uh, that is fine. Uh, in the meantime, I would have colors dot blue, and then child text pick image from gallery okay and then i'll give some style to my text textile colors dot white font weight font weight dot bold okay and then after this once this is done I can have on pressed. Let's remove this. Okay, and then here my method will come. So right now I don't have a method. So let me copy paste this for the camera as well. As we'll have the same button. Okay, let's refresh it. Oops. Uh, okay. I think now it should work okay so we see two buttons here image from okay i need to update this one to camera okay so now that is done cool now let me create a method why is it giving me error at const modifier yeah no worries okay so okay now we will create a method in our case which will basically go ahead and pick the image right now the concept here is that when we select an image it's gonna be of type file right so we have an inbuilt file method or class you can say which where we can store that file let's import this so yeah one thing to make sure it's it's dart dot io not the html part and that's where i get the file class from now we create future pick image sync try final image so i'll call my image picker package class which basically automatically calls the inbuilt method called pick image and it has a source image so okay i think i need to import this library yes so once it's import i can use gallery okay um, and if image is null then return and then if it's not then final image temp is equal to five so what this functionality does is it basically calls the image pickers pick image method and then it calls the source so it knows that you need to go inside our gallery pick an image and if it was able to pick an image that means if user was able to select one so it will basically cop create a file with that path and it will save it here because we want it locally in our app so that we can render it later right to see which image person aspect so that's how we set our display picture in the apps image. 
okay so this basically sets to our global variable because this way this is a variable that i'll be using in my widget component to display right also i'm using a try clash catch block so i will catch this exception oops and i'm gonna print it cool so why is it showing me a make conditional on kiru okay that is fine now once this image is selected i would need a way to display it right so also let me call this method pick image okay well, okay once this is called inside the child i would have to display this let's create a size box size box with it should be height 20 and then we call image is not equal to null so we do image dot file image else we can show a text called no image selected right let's run this and see if we get any errors okay so by default you can see we are getting no image selected right because currently we haven't selected anything so if i click on this okay so first for the first time it's going to ask us that do you want to give this app the permission or not right so i will do it allow access to all photos now we have all the pictures here let me select one of them and you can see it got rendered here right similarly if i do a pick image and then if i select the other one okay so this is getting rendered now similarly we can do it for the camera um right now i actually haven't called this method for camera let me just copy paste this method uh, we actually can refactor it and use one method but just for the video basis i will create one here and we'll update this to camera camera okay now let's see okay the image is gone now pick one okay i will do allow okay camera not available so the reason the camera is not available because i am using a simulator but it will work if you use a real app i hope this video was helpful if so please give me a thumbs up follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel and wait for similar widget updates in the upcoming 60 days thanks everyone